Hey guys, it's Reagan, and I am super excited for today's video. I'm going to be showing you guys what is inside my DIY first aid kit. Now, I am sitting in the back of my car because that is where I keep my first aid kit. Also, I'm super sorry about the noise um, going on and cars driving by and stuff like that. Um, so, this first aid kit I put together myself. Um, I will say that pretty much everything in this bag, except for the bag itself, is from Dollar Tree. So this is a very affordable option for making a first aid kit for you, for your family. So, um, this is going to be the first video in a, a three-part series. So the other two videos will be a 72-hour car survival kit and a 72-hour home survival kit, both DIY and budget friendly. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the first aid kit. So this is my first aid kit. This is a pretty heavy duty first aid kit. This is the bag and before anybody says anything, yes, this is the EMT symbol. I am not an EMT, but it is very hard to find an empty first aid bag. They all have stuff already in them. So um, this is a medical symbol. The, the bag is blue, which is my favorite color, but it's also bright. So if I were to say, go get the blue first aid kit out of my car, nobody really would have a hard, you know, like it's easy to locate. So um, this bag has a pocket on each side and then a main pocket uh, on the front. Um, it has two straps, so it's very easy to carry. I could also clip it onto another bag if I need to. Um, so as I said, everything in this bag is from Dollar Tree. The bag itself is from Amazon. The brand does sell these bags with supplies in them. So if you are wanting a pre-made bag, that is something that you can look at as well. Um, so let's go ahead and get on into the contents of the bag. So I'll do each pocket and then I'll open up the main compartment. So all the supplies in here are pretty self-explanatory. So I'm not going to spend a long time talking about them because I don't want this video to take forever. Um, so I will explain stuff if I need to, but I feel like in general, everything is pretty self-explanatory. So in this first side pocket, I'm just gonna pull things out in no particular order, but the first thing is these exam gloves. These are not sterile, but they're just normal exam gloves. This pack has like 10 gloves in it, yeah. Then I also have two packs of antibacterial wet wipes. Um, these have vitamin E and aloe in them, and they are safe to use on your hands or on your face. Um, you can pretty, you know, I mean, you can use it all over your body if you wanted to, but, um, you know, I thought that these were more for um, disinfecting things, but they are more for the body, so that's actually good to know, you know, like if you can't get to a shower, so... There's that. And then I also have this bottle of hand sanitizer. And then the last thing in this pocket is this digital thermometer. Um, I just have kept it in the package to keep it clean, but you know, it says results in 60 seconds. So take that out quick, use it quick, but it's just good to identify, you know, if somebody has a fever or if their temperature has dropped as well. Okay, so moving on to the other side pocket, there's just some, it's just a hodgepodge of things. So the first thing in here is this little tiny kit. This is mostly just different kinds of bandages, um, but this is just good. You know, if somebody has like a minor cut, um, I can just whip this out and use this without having to like dig through the rest of my bag. So that is that. The next thing I have is a bottle of ibuprofen. I also have a tube of sunscreen. I know that's kind of random, but I don't know. I feel like this is this is good to have. Like it might not necessarily be a first aid item, but there's that. <laughs> and then the next three items in here. Okay, these are gonna require some explanation because you're probably like Reagan. Why do you have all three of these? Um, but the next three thing is I have some calamine lotion, I have some anti-itch cream, and some hydrocortisone cream. So. 
first of all, this anti-itch cream is basically Dollar Tree's version of Benadryl cream. So this is medicated. It has diphenhydramine in it. Um, so this is more for some type of topical um, skin allergic reaction. And this really shouldn't even be combined with other diphenhydramine products. The calamine lotion is more meant for, you know, a bug bite or poison ivy or um, interaction with something that causes a reaction, but it might not necessarily be an allergic reaction. But I know that when I've had to use calamine lotion, I mean, you can pretty much put it on as often as you need to. It's not going to hurt you. So that's another thing. It, it does provide some temporary relief. And the hydrocortisone cream is more for a... Mm, just a general rash. Uh, I have eczema, so I keep this all the time. Um, you know, I mean, I feel like this is just a general itch relief. Like, if you only have one bug bite, I would use this. If you have multiple bug bites, then I would use the calamine lotion. So, anyways, everybody has their own, like, opinion on that stuff. But I, that's why I have all three. I feel like they are all pretty important so um you know make of that what you will but when they're all a dollar like when you can get them all for a dollar it's like you might as well have options so okay so now i'm gonna move into this main compartment um right here in the middle so again um i'm just gonna pull things out not really in any particular order just kind of what i see first Okay, so the first things that I see are some medications, so let me just get all of these out. So again, these aren't really considered like first aid, but it's good to have medications with you, especially because I keep this in my car. So I have some more ibuprofen, because honestly, you can never have too much of that. Um, I have some Pepto-Bismol, um, so, you know, this is good if you have like some heartburn um, and if you're nauseous. Then I also have some laxatives and anti-diarrheals. And before you laugh, let me just say that if I am escaping from a natural disaster or um, have to flee or whatever, these things could be my best friend. So, um, you know, I don't know. Those are pretty self-explanatory, but I think that they're good to have and good to keep with you no matter what, even in your home. And then the next two medications, um, I do have some Gas-X, but apparently I only have one left. And then I do have some AZOs. Um, again, okay, like if I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere, the last thing that I want to do is be dealing with these kinds of problems, okay? So that is why I have those medications, okay? And then the next thing I have, so this is a pain relief balm. So this is more meant for like a bruise or a sore muscle or sore joint. So, um, you know, I, I would take something by mouth more for like if I have an injury that hurts. Um, but this is more just a topical pain reliever. Okay, so I have a lot of stuff in here, so I'm trying to figure out like the best way to go through this. So I'm just gonna start pulling. So I have another packet of the disinfectant wipes. I also have a packet of small gauze pads. I have one single gauze roll, so this would be really good for a larger injury. That's a fly. So this would be really good for a larger injury, maybe one that requires pressure to keep it from bleeding. Then I also have some alcohol prep pads. I have some isopropyl alcohol and some hydrogen peroxide so again this is one of those situations where somebody is like well why do you have both i have my reasoning um different people might have different opinions but for me isopropyl alcohol is very beneficial for disinfecting things so if i am trying to disinfect a table or disinfect something um, not on a body this is what i'm going to use but you could also use this for wounds i cut my thumb really bad a few weeks ago so every time i would change the bandage i just kind of pour some of this on there um so that is the main reason why i have this the reason why i have 
uh, the hydrogen peroxide is because in my opinion, in the hospital, you know, we don't use this much anymore, but in my opinion, this is very good for certain kinds of wounds. So my thumb, which is bleeding, is gonna, you know, the alcohol will be best. But if I had a blister or something with pus or something that was draining, um, this is what I'm gonna wanna use very minimally because this can cause irritation if used in excess. So this is best for a wet wound and then this is best for a uh, bloody wound, if that makes sense. Hopefully that description helps you. So that's, that's how I think of things. But again, everybody is different and everybody wants different kinds of things. So moving on to this other side is mostly bandages and um, wound care. So the first thing on this side is this triple antibiotic ointment. So that is beneficial to use again um you know just once you clean it with the alcohol i would just put some of that on there before you actually put the bandage on i have medical tape um so this is good for strapping down bandages um i also have some ace wrap and let me just say okay so this is the one from walmart this is the one from dollar tree like which of those looks better to you i just i don't know i i just think it's funny that like this one looks so much better and this one is like all beat up and bent anyways um i also have some saline nasal spray and this doesn't even just have to be used for your nasal passages um because it is saline so you know if you're trying to rinse something off or whatever that's beneficial as well and then i also just have some um petroleum jelly which you could put on before you um cover a wound so um it's raining awesome glad I'm in my car okay um so the next thing is just some basic like waterproof band-aids and then I have these bigger like you can kind of see in the package just these bigger um, bandages they cover more surface area then on the other side I'm just gonna take out one of each because they're kind of hard to get in and out but um, I have some finger joint bandages and then these are fingertip bandages so again all of these were from Dollar Tree um, these are very beneficial my husband actually ripped off a fingernail at work um, a few months ago so those finger bandages were very beneficial as well as like the petroleum jelly and stuff like that okay guys so that is pretty much it for my first aid kit there is a compartment in my lift gate um that this goes in it just buckles in really nice um wow it's like actually starting to rain now awesome um so hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope that this was beneficial for you if you think I am missing something in my first aid kit, please leave a comment down below so that I can make sure to get whatever I am missing. Um, and I will link the bag down below. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss the upcoming videos in this series. Again, I'll be doing a car kit video and a home kit video, which will be coming um, later once we actually get to move back into our house uh, as you guys may know we had a fire a few months ago so we've been in some temporary apartments and um, so once we get back into our home we will be able to do that so all right guys um, that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you again next time